Our tip of the week uh, this week is defining renderings and save views. And so real quickly, um, before I get into ARCHICAD, I just want to kind of show you a little bit about how to uh, also think about these renderings if you're doing a center render rendering engine or uh, doing a rendering with a center render engine. Um, so when you have your photo render settings open, you need to understand, are you doing screen output or print output? This is really important because screen output means it's 72 DPI. If you select print output, that's immediately going to bump up uh, the, um, uh, the resolution here to 150, um, and you could adjust that higher as well. If you're doing screen output, it's going to set it to a 72, and you cannot change this. Okay. So when I select any of those options, it's set to a default of 72. If I select any print option, it's going to give me a default of 150, which is usually the minimum. And of course, I could bump that up higher as well. Uh, when you do go to generate renderings, and I will show you in a second, uh, one of the things you may want to do is to save a, um, a both a copy of your save view of that rendering view, meaning uh, what it looks like in your 3D window, as well as a saved view for uh, what you want in your photo rendering. And the reason for this is uh, if I, for example, let's say I did not save this, this photo, uh, this 3D view, and I went back to this saved view for this 3D um, for the rendering, okay, here, uh, for photo render, I would have to double click the rendering, have, let it start rendering, stop it, then go to my you know, 3D window to start to edit that view. However, if I have this view saved for my 3D view and for the rendering, then I can go to this 3D rendering view, double click that, make any edits I need here, then double click the interior rendering here, um, which already has the photo render settings for it and it starts to render. That's just a quicker way of uh, being able to go through this process. And then you can also set batch rendering. This is really important if you're doing um, any sort of renderings within ARCHICAD. Rather than going and waiting for each of these renderings to render, if you've got a bunch of them, uh, you can go ahead and create a, uh, a saved publisher set called batch rendering. And then within that, you can start to save the different renderings you want. And then when you're ready to render, you can just click publish, go home. Um, go away from the computer for a couple hours, however long it's going to take, and it'll start the rendering process. And that is our tip of the week.